Hello! We are live. So live, right? And I'm late, like I always am. If you see the little live bubble, we're live. And we're going to show you 20 plus ways to maximize your maxi, as well as showing you the amazing maxis we have in-house right now. They're all so awesome. It's summertime. It's hot. We all need to know how to wear our maxis. All right? So, super, super easy. If you're catching this on the replay, that's just fine. Screenshot, describe, whatever floats your boat, as long as I get more than just the number. Okay? All right. So, bear with me for a second here, because I have to send a text to all my friends, and if you want to be notified when I go live, there's a little notify me button, but if you didn't see that when you click on my head, that's okay. You just go ahead and you, uh, you just go ahead and join the VIP group and the visit thing, or go look at the banner on the top because it tells you to text Wild Carry to nine five three two eight. I think is the number. So easy. So don't mind my silly appearance here because I'm going to be showing you all the ways. So I'm wearing my little road tank, my handy dandy tank, and I do have more if you need them. We're going to show you all the ways to wear your maxi. So, as soon as I finds it, all right, there it is. Okay, come on, open. There we go. Something, we're gonna be starting something. Hello, Katie. How's it going, girl? So we are gonna show all those ways because Maxi won in our group vote. Isn't that fun? Okay, no slouching. So how many ways can we style our maxis, right? Can you believe I thought of 23 ways? 23 ways. How many ways can you think of off the top of your head? Oh my gosh, like no volume. Thank you. Turn off the volume. There we go. Like, isn't that impressive? You gotta admit that's pretty impressive. We are not done yet. We're still going, Katie. We're still going. Because I don't close out until the evening. I only close out at two times, noon and, and midnight. So we went to midnight tonight. So it's still pumping. It's still going. This is Katie's party, guys. Katie's party. So yeah, tell me how many ways you wear your maxi. How many ways do you wear your maxi? How many ways can you think of? Right? It's pretty impressive to be able to think of 23 ways, I must say. <coughs> now, <coughs> the trick is, can I really demonstrate all of them or am I just too crazy to be able to do that? So, we'll find out. We'll find out. We're gonna give it a try. We're gonna give it our solid best. I do have notes because I'm pretty sure my memory is absolutely crazy with the uh, amount of stuff I try to keep in it at once. So we're gonna go for this. Okay, there we go. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Okay, one more little thing. Unpin and wake up. Computer, wake up. Okay, we're going. Five kids kill your brain. Just saying, every single one of them steals brain cells, doesn't it? Every single one of them. All right, are we ready for this? Is exciting. Is exciting. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh -huh. Pin you. Pin you. All right, we're going to get started. We're just going to go straight off. Now, I can wear about five sizes in maxi, I think. Um, but... We're gonna do this the safe way. So we're gonna start with number one. And everybody knows the most obvious way to wear a maxi. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple ways. I'm gonna show you a couple skirts. It's super, super quick. All right, so I guess I should grab the numbers, huh? Grab the numbers so you can know what number things are. And I lost my handy dandy. All right, here we go. I got my bucket of numbers. Bucket of numbers. Okay, here we go. Five kids kill your brain. Okay, is everybody ready for this? Okay, way number one. Everybody knows way number one. Come on, like right? So for me, this is a double extra small. I'm a size 10, 12 jeans, and I know I'm totally washed out, but that's because I need to be able to show you guys colors. So this is an extra, extra small, and it is in maxi fabric, right? Because fabric's a component in what, of knowing what you can do with a maxi, right? So number one is just to wear it 
as intended, right? Touching the floor, hitting the natural waist. These work no matter how tall you are just about because this fold over yoga band, right? So if you're shorter, you just pull it up a little bit and then take the band and fold it over. Super easy, okay? So it's adjustable height, it's super, super simple. And then you can wear it high-waisted. Have you ever worn it high-waisted, right? Isn't that cute? So there's number two, high-waisted. Though, not really, it's more like number one V. And then you grab, I'm a big proponent of belts. I will actually leave a link in this live to the belts because the belts are amazing. Um, to my belt stash, which is on Amazon. You can go find them yourself. Okay, so this is a cute maxi skirt with navy and cream polka dots. And then there's little tiny red bows. So I have put a wrap belt over it. Super simple, high waisted, right? Very classy. If I'm wearing my Lularo tank, goes with everything, right? So here's your print, navy, cream, and a gorgeous like kind of vintagey red. And this skirt is number 200, okay? So this is extra, extra small. I'm a size 10, 12 in maxi fabric. I can wear a double extra small. And I'm gonna put this number on this so I don't get confused. And then there's one more trick. We're gonna get interesting now, okay? Isn't it so cute, Katie? Okay, so the first interesting thing you can do is you can take right here at your hip, right there, grab it and ponytail it, okay? Now, if you're like me and you have enough excess fabric, you can just tie it right there, right? And I like to twist so that my asymmetrical hem with the little peekaboo of the calf looks like the fabric's going the right way, okay? So you just take that, I am really bad at knots, so I'm a cheater. I take a fold over elastic hair tie, which I send out with every maxi I sell, and I create a baby bun. Okay, and then I take the excess fabric and I wrap it around the baby bun. And I tuck it back in to the rubber band slash fold over elastic, right? Because fold over elastic is softer on your clothes. Okay, so that's a cute little nub right there on my hip. Sexy, sassy, but still full coverage, right? So that's number two, because you know, high-waisted and low-waisted, that's just really A and B of one, right? Okay, so this is number 200, number 200, okay? And then I'm gonna grab my other extra smalls. Now, a lot of people look at the size charts and say, uh, I can't wear extra small, girl, yes you can. If you are a size 10 to six, and it's maxi fabric, you can, you can. It is amazing, it is a miracle, it is fabric that loves everybody. Okay, so I've got, what is this, five extra, extra spools? Six, okay, so. Number 200 is the navy with the polka dots and the red bows. Okay, this is black with cream overlapping circles. Why is that all bunchy? We're just gonna go real quick through the extra, extra small so you can see your options for some not, something new to try, right? If I'm a size 10, right? And I've got enough room to not only tie it up, knot it up, whatever you want to call it. That's that's a forgiving skirt, right? So this one's number 185. Of course, I turn it around. Okay, that is a super cute. It has a little bit of cotton. So if you're a true, uh, like in the 4 to 8 category, you can work that. Okay, this is super stretchy maxi fabric. And I'm going to show you what you can do with solids in a hot minute here. Okay, but this is another extra, extra small super super stretchy but it feels like more cottony but it's very very much got a ton of spandex hello ladies hi christina I'm showing you all the ways to wear that maxi okay 210 is the really pretty kind of like sea blue look at this one this is true maxi fabric true maxi fabric here this is a smoky blue with a crackle and then abstract kind of roses and cream and red right it's one of my favorite colors katie I think it's like really popular right now because I'm seeing it everywhere. 215. These are extra, extra smalls. And then I'm going to show you some more tricks. Four more tricks after the extra small. So just give me one second. Four more hacks coming right up. Okay, so this is kind of a cotton-ish one too. So not quite as much stretch. So again, with the six to the eight, the fours, you know, like if you're a true double extra small, always. <laughs> yes, Carl Bean, which is what I accidentally called Caribbean Blue. 
or 50, 256 for that extra, extra small, kind of geometric cottony. This is the last one, and the one I'm wearing is number 200, okay? So this is also kind of a cotton, but it's very stretchy, and it's kind of a spiced orange with dandelions and wisps of coral bean or Caribbean blue. All right, so this one's number 35, and I'm wearing 200. Now we're gonna change, and we're gonna show you four more tricks. Four more tricks, are we ready? We've wrapped our mind, we've taken your notes, you know what's going on? Okay, so I'm taking off the red one, because we're switching. Now, for those who just joined us, I am wearing shorts. Hi, Christina. Feel free to ask questions, guys, or if you want me to like explain how something works, ask away. Okay, and by the way, those elastic bands left not a single mark and never have. None of the things that I've done to my maxis, and boy have I done them, have ever damaged any of them. I've never ripped a seam. Okay, I'm a size 10 and a double extra small. I should be ripping seams all over the place according to the labels. So this double extra small, again, is 200 while I put it away. Yes, they are amazing. They are life-saving. Because when you expand and contract with every bread mill, woo! Okay, 200 for that one. All right, so. Now we're gonna go up to extra small. I was actually scared to try this one because it's a little bit stiffer. This isn't true maxi. It's like still feel slick. This was number 472. We're gonna show you four more tricks right now. Four more tricks. Okay, so again, we're doing the whole tank thing because it's summer and it's hot and maxis and the tanks go together and we've got the tanks. So if you need to see the tanks, let me know. I have black in every size from small to 2X and I have white in Maybe, yep, uh, 90%, yep. I've got it in every size from small to 2X, okay? So I'm just wearing black shorts and a black tank so that I can pull off all these looks. Now, woo -hoo! okay, all right, so I've got it back on. So next up is some tricky business, guys. Are you ready? Because this is tricky business. Okay, so this is a kind of striped one, and I'm not sure how this is gonna look with all these tricks, but I like it, so I tried it on. Okay, so I showed you the tie at the one third point, right? So I showed you the, the bun right here with grabbing this and bunning it. So next up is, actually I'm gonna pull this band down. There we go, so I can use that. Okay, we're gonna take the, we're gonna take this here, like that, that same, it's like, it's like a, you reach down to your knee and you grab it, okay? And then you tuck it into a snugger band, okay? Now, you can tuck it like this, right? So it's just like this, or if you're like me and you like your safety, you like your safety, then you just add the belt again, okay? And I think this looks really cute with a lot of the striped prints or the solids. Yes, maxis are needed. It's a hot day in Washington. It's a hot day in Washington. So the pull it from the knee up and tuck it in the band, Nice and secure with a little bit of overflow. Isn't that cute? Okay, super cute, right? We're still not exposing very much print or skin. Right, it's genius. Okay, so the next one, the next one is going to be the exact same thing, but it's a little bit more risque. So you gotta be brave. Okay, you ready? Okay, so you grab the appropriate mount. For me, it's just right above the knee and you tuck it. Let's see. Okay, so the bottom of my shorts, that's how I know. This is where my shorts fall, that's how much I can pull up. Okay, and then you tuck it right here. You just tuck it in and you get an azure in the front and a maxi in the back, baby. Okay, that's the tag, that's not white showing by the way. That's the tag. Okay, so you get an azure in the front and a maxi in the back. Do you see that? And again, if you need safety, you grab an elastic belt, or you grab a wrap belt. Yes, it is a little scary, but I do know some brave girls. Okay, right there. See? So if you're a little scared that it's gonna pop out of your tuck, then you put an elastic belt or a wrap belt right over your tuck that matches with your skirt. So freaking adorable, right ladies? Like, give me some hearts for this. This is genius stuff right here. High-low is all the rage. Like, how cute is that? Okay, so that's number two of the extra small because I'm, that's what I'm wearing right now. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna do something really scary. See, thank you ladies, thank you. We're gonna grab a giant ponytail, okay? I know, this looks scary like, and inappropriate, but trust me, it ends up better. 
And then I grab my tie wherever I put it. And since I don't know where I put it, I just grab another one. It's probably on my wrist. And there it is. Okay, so I know, I know. It's, it's, it's incredibly shady placement, but you need it. You need the shady placement so you can see what you're doing in the front. Okay, so you see I just did kind of like, you know the morning when you put your hair up and you put your rubber band around it and then you let the tail fall in and then you put the rubber band again? Yeah, <laughs> thanks Christina. <laughs> okay, so I have got like basically the messy bun equivalent of maxi here, so where the tail has been wrapped around once and then the the nub and end that was sticking out of the pony is, is on the inside, pointing up, pointing up, right? Okay, so that it's flat against us. Okay, so this is a thing, I would not wear it this way, I would do this. And you could also be smarter than me and start with it twisted around so that you can have it all the way, there we go. Okay, all right, all right guys. I'm gonna fix the band and I'm gonna turn around and show you how cool this looks. There we go, because the band's a little crooked. Isn't that too cute? And you can adjust the height for you. So if you want it lower, pull it lower. But then it's this cute little cascading thing. But guess what? You can do that inside out too. So it doesn't have to be a bun, it can just be a flat little flap. Watch this. So the exact same trick, so it doesn't count as a new trick. It's just inside out. So make your pony on the inside, right? So if you grab that same amount of fabric at about the same spot on the inside of the dress, or skirt, whatever, and you grab that same amount, but instead of balling it, you just pony it, just pony it, right? Then the flap falls straight down. You fix it back, ta-da! Now you don't have a ball sticking out the back, okay? So there's two options. Some people like the risque knot, some people don't. But look at that, how adorable is that? I love it on the back. Plus you get that freedom to walk and the air comes. Oh, like it's hot here today. It's like 80 degrees here today. So I love everything that brings me breeze. It lets the air conditioning touch me, right? Okay, so. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. Here's another one, okay. I'm untying it from behind. It's kind of like skills here. All right, so we saw that one. I know it's still on backwards. You know I'm not fixing it because you can't even tell because it's a little rough. All right, so you take that exact same thought with your kind of high-low look, right? And you take it like Marilyn Monroe tight to your body, okay? Like whoosh. Again, I know this is scary, Katie. But and then you grab your pony again, right? Like sarong style, okay? And this time, you let it fly, okay? So, you know, mind you, don't use a white one on a black skirt like I would have used a red one, okay? But then I just kind of tuck the knot inside the fold of the fabric so it's not sticking out. Okay, sarong style. Or use a regular hairband, like for your hair, like the black kind instead of a fold over, because it won't show. But yeah, so you've got it tighter to your body. You've got more of that body fitted, like a sarong. Perfect for at the pool, right? Like, you don't want all that extra fabric being splashed on by the kids, walked on by the kids, you're sitting there waiting for your kid to get out of the darn pool. You don't need that in your life. Okay, and then, there's one more when it comes to tucking. Are we ready? Okay, so this is, you take this piece and instead of going over, you go under onto the inside, okay? I can't even get my hand under, there we go. And then you tuck through until you're happy with it. Now I'm not gonna leave the fabric out, I'm just getting my placement where I'm happy with it, okay? So you control everything here. You control it all. I mean, this would be cuter, I think, without a stripe print because this doesn't showcase the, the stripe very well, but you trick with the placement. I like to twist, and I forgot to twist. I like to twist because then I control more of the, the way the fabric stays right side out. But you're still getting that high-low, right? So you can make it in the front. You could do the same thing in the back like wherever you want it, but instead of a knot, you're just taking it from the inside, the hem, wherever you want that shortness to be for that high-low look, and you just bring it up through, okay? Just bring it up through, adjust, adjust, you know, fix your crooked skirt, like if you're like me, okay, there you go. And then when you're done fixing it, 
fix your band, and then there you are. Okay, see, another option. Another way to do the high-low is through the inside out. That's not hard, right? You don't even need a belt, you don't even need a tie. You can do that when you need to walk more, you need more air, it got hotter. Super easy hack. And again, this all works perfectly with a tank top. And that's why we're featuring tanks and maxis. Okay, now we are, we are at time to switch to small. So I will show you these extra smalls real quick. Now this one is number 472. It is super cute, just the way it is, right? Like it is super cute. It doesn't even like need all this fancy fun, but you've got to find a way to do these like cool tricks to find new ways to bring life to the wardrobe you have or like find new there's number 472. Find new maxis that you love because you want to try these things. Okay, so that's 472. Then we've got this really loud fun, which would be great because this kind of print would tuck really well, would showcase. Isn't that fun? It's like a bubblegum kind of pink. And then there's these gorgeous yellow big flowers and bold print. Isn't that fun? I could have totally done that one. And this is true maxi fabric. This one's true maxi fabric. Number 92, hi Heather. Fun, okay. Um, this one's more cotton-like, right? So a little less stretch, but still very stretchy. This is black and white. It's a great classy pattern and it does these tricks amazing. Amazing, right? We've got four more and then I'm gonna show you four more tricks. Now, I, I know you're probably thinking about like, well, what about all these solid maxis I see? Like this gorgeous, cotton maxi in royal blue that is stunning by the way cotton is really great for the for the type of person who really likes to wear it as a dress because it doesn't slide as much but kind of have to go a little truer to your size all right katie number 27 for the extra small all right this one's a little fun and funky number 89 Look at that, it's kind of 60s mod, right? Like, it's got that 60s kind of hippie vibe. Okay, two more solids for you. I'm gonna show you how to style these solids right now. So this is cotton aqua. Like, these are stunning, these are fines. To be able to, you gotta love your prints, but you also gotta appreciate your solids, right? Number 187 for the extra small cotton in aqua. And then this one is sage, and it's a lighter weight cotton. Probably because it's heathered. Number 163, all right. Oh no, there's two more hiding. No, those are small. What are you? What are you? You're an extra small, okay. So this one is maxi fabric with kind of a like coppery gold pattern on it, okay? Gorgeous royal blue. There, that's all the extra smalls, okay? So that's number 60. So let's show you what you can do with a solid maxi. So. This is solid, and it's kind of cotton-ish, but it's got as much stretch as a maxi does, right? Like the maxi fabric, I mean. So this is a small, and like I said, I can wear double extra small in the maxi fabric, and then starting at extra small, I can start wearing the cotton blends. And I think you'd be surprised, because I'm a size 10, right? Okay, so I've got the raspberry small on. And I'm just folding over this little thing here. Now, you might think that's pretty boring, but, but, check this. Oh, and this one's number, the raspberry solid is number 153, okay? Check this out. This is bomb.com. So, Julia's and Debbie's, they're the same dress, right? Can we agree on that? One of them has sleeves, one of them don't. Just saying. Like, like seriously, that's pretty much the difference, right? I've picked this print that has a little bit of raspberry in it, right? But it's a pretty fall print because I'm thinking fall when I'm putting this combo together. I'm sweaty, so this better work. I'm sweaty, sweaty. And this is a, oh, this is small. This might not work. Okay, I'm gonna switch Debbie's real quick. I picked one with the pretty colors first. That's okay, I've got another one. I was like, wait a minute, why is this tight? Oh, doy doy. Next time, not small. Here we go. All right. So we're gonna do this one. We're gonna do this roses one. Isn't that pretty together? Okay. 
Colby needs a bath. Oh, so cute. Babies are so cute. Okay. So Debbie over a maxi. And the same trick works for a Julia, by the way. Okay. So instead of a tank, we're imagining like fall, right? We're trying to find more uses for our maxi. Okay. Now, this is a Debbie that's a little bit big on me because I usually wear a medium, but I wanted to show a looser fit. So I was trying to, I thought I grabbed the large. I have a large and a similar print. It's got more orange though. Okay. So can't see the tank anymore. Can you see the, yep. You can see the bottom of the skirt. It's a mermaid dress now and I have full coverage and I'm warm. And considering it's like 80 degrees in here, that's not saying much, but I promise you in the fall, you would be too. Okay. And then, <laughs> then you take the edge of the Debbie or the Julia and you do a diagonal fold like you're wearing it as a tunic, right? Like you're wearing it as a tunic. Okay. So maxi works under fitted dresses, Julia, Debbie. Okay. You can wear it under them and get a mermaid effect. And the more plentiful your fabric, the more mermaid it becomes. So this Debbie is going to be number 143, number 143. And I have black tanks in all the sizes because that's what I'm showing wearing with everything. So if you want a black tank, you just say sold black and then a size, okay? Or white tank. Okay, so, right? This Debbie, number 143. So here's another way to pair your stuff so that you're warm enough, right? So we showed it kind of as a tunic. We showed it as a mermaid. Okay, here we go, here we go. I, I fixed the Debbie underneath, so it's all the way down to my knees. Oh, no, it does the same thing, Heather, same thing. Cassie over a maxi does the exact same thing. You just got a little bit more color work to do, right? So if you have like a black Cassie over a printed maxi with a black top or a coordinating colored top, it could really work. It could really work. Okay, so here's the other way. Wear your maxi over your Julia or your Debbie in the winter time to get that extra layer of warmth. And you can still wear your leggings and nobody would know. And you look all dressed up fancy for some occasion and you're covered in the style department, but you got leggings and you have to shave. Win, win, win. Okay. So we did the uh, Debbie inside, Debbie outside. I need some water. Hold on. So there's one more way to do this in the winter time. Okay. So what do you do when you're short, but you're cold? This is what you do. Okay. So you take your maxi up over the bust of your Debbie or your Julia. Tell me that's not elegant. Tell me that's not elegant. Isn't that beautiful? And the print, isn't that pretty? So then you take your, okay guys, I had a belt. There it is. And you take your belt. And a simple wrap belt is perfect for this. A simple wrap belt, right? Something that matches it. Ta-da! How cute is that? Right? You just used your maxi the same way you do all summer in the winter time with this outfit. Chances are you've got something that might work or maybe you just need one piece and you could do all these looks too, okay? So, maxi under. Debbie, Julia, Cassie, Maxi over at the waist, Julia or Debbie, and then Maxi at the bust over Julia or Debbie, unbelted or belted. Look at all those looks right there, so fast. And that's just a small Maxi. And I'm a size 10 slash 12. And what does Maxi say I should be? Maxi says I should be, ah, my Maxi tag's not here, so I don't know but it's probably a medium or a small, right? Just saying. Okay, so this one again was number 153. Number 153 for this one, the Julia, I mean the Debbie I've got on is a large and it's number 143. So raspberry solid, solids are great maxis because they have versatility. So it's number 153 for that small. We're gonna go super quick for the other smalls. Are you a small really? Or are you a medium? Are you tricking me? You're a medium. No tricking me. Okay. Look at this. So much goodness here. 
Okay, so this is a great maxi. Look at that, look at those colors. How easy would that be with your tank, right? With the pink ones or the black ones. And we have black in every size, 122 for that small. Purple, pink, and black in that one. Look at those colors. Caribbean blue background and a little bit of that red that would go so well with the tanks too, or the pastel blue or the gray. This is a small maxi fabric, true to the stretch you need in a small. And like I said, usually you can wear like three or four sizes, maybe five in a maxi. Number 140. Also maxi fabric. This is perfect. This is so soft, so stretchy. It's kind of that bright springy cantaloupe orange with yellow and white and cream flowers. 204 for this maxi fabric maxi, 204. These are all smalls. I'm gonna switch up to four more hacks in just a second here. This is a gorgeous kind of spring green with some orange roses and lime leaves. Maxi fabric, true maxi fabric, number 276. Okay, this one's more cotton-like. It's also more fall-like, okay? You've got blue, you've got ochre, you've got brown. Okay, this one's number eight. I can pick up the number. This one's number eight, it's a small, and it's diagonal, like kind of diamond pattern. Diamond, not diagonal. Okay, here we have black and cream, very classic, very easy to layer, okay? Small, number 22. Number 22. Here we have a heathered cotton. We were just talking about solids and how valuable they are. This is a blue cotton. It's kind of got that gray tone to it. It's a little bit heathered. Okay, and remember with cottons, you can't go as low as you can with maxi fabric. Number 54 for that small. All right, and the last small is this blue with the silver polka dots. Can you just imagine how fancy you would be? at like date night with that, with a cute metallic belt around the middle. Oh, number 234. Okay, then we're gonna switch to medium. Now, those who've just joined, I have clothes on underneath this, okay? I'm not stripping on live TV. Don't report me. I've actually got a LuLaRoe tank on, see? All these tanks are amazing. They are gorgeous. I'm wearing a small right now and I'm a size 10. And it's not sheer. I'm not wearing a black bra under it. So impressive, impressive LuLaRoe. And they're so soft and so stretchy. I can't say enough about them, they're amazing. Okay, so this Debbie in large was number 143. If you wanna snag it, it's pretty, but man, is it warm in here. Woo, woo. Okay, next up is mediums, right? And that means four new hacks, four more hacks, okay? Now, look at this, I even had organized with a belt. I feel so impressive. It's really not that impressive, but I felt impressive, okay? Medium. I've chosen a dip skirt because they are all the rage and I can't believe there's even one left in my shop, let alone two or three. But this medium is number, check out the dippage. Okay, dippage. Is that a word? I don't know what it is now. 267 for the dipped maxi in medium. Now this is the biggest size of maxi I can wear, so I'm gonna stay in medium the rest of this while I show you the other sizes, okay? All right, so first of all, you put it on. Wait, am I supposed to put it on this way? I feel like I'm not supposed to. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I was checking my notes. Yeah, I can, Ruth. What, what, what size do you need, hon? That's by request. I've got tanks. I can show you all the tanks. And your size, if you need to know, I've got black and white in every size from small to 2X. Okay, so right now I've got it high-waisted because I'm about to turn this into a strapless dress okay right so this is actually if you're keeping count this is way number nine this is number nine okay though i've shown some variations i'm actually only counting this to nine just tell me what size you need ruth and i'll flash them to you real quick the tanks not anything else <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not flashing flashing yeah nothing inappropriate there okay so I, I i had a belt i was all organized there it is <coughs> Now, when I do a maxi as a dress, I always do a belt because I'm insecure about the falling of a maxi dress, okay? So, I usually belt it. This has got a little bit of the pink, like the bottom of the skirt, right? Okay, so maxi as a dress like this, cover up or not, 
Shirley, um, like there's a million different cover-ups. You know all about them. Jean jacket, oh, I love a jean jacket over a strap. So the other way I like to wear it, just take the tag out, is to blouse it, okay? Blousing it till the belt disappears. You want a medium classic and a small perfect. I would say stick with medium or large, depending on if you want a fitted fit or a, uh, or a not fitted fit. <laughs> Blousey your fit. You could even go up to an extra large, but I'd be worried about gappage, so that depends on bust size. Okay, so here, it's kind of cute and flouncy, right? So this is just belted with an elastic band belt and then bloused over it. Super easy. So I would say, yeah, medium or large, you could maybe go up to extra large for fit in the tanks. Okay? So on that note, for medium, oh my gosh, I have a tank that matches what I'm wearing right now. Okay, medium, I have black and white, which goes without saying, if you want black or white, just say black or white and then the size, because I have it in all of them. Okay, and then I have larges, and do I, have any, I don't have any more extra larges except for black and white. Okay, large, okay, so large, I have a watermelon pink color, number 27 for the watermelon pink and large. I have a peachy color, which by the way, looks super cute with this because of the roses. Number 163 in large. And I have one final fire engine red, number 47. And then in medium, I have a blush pink, which is number 374. There are no duplicates on these, just so you know. So it's whatever, whoever grabs and gets them. So this is a medium, number 374. There's also black and white in every size from small to 2X. So just say your size and uh, which color you want. And that's how you tell me that you want those ones. So you say sold medium black. And I know that you're talking about the tank. Okay. All right. So we showed you this trick, right? The blouse. It's nice and kind of hides things. Okay. But if you don't like it that bloused, pull up, fold down. If it's a little too long, pull up, fold down. And then re reposition your fabric. So this is my favorite way to wear it right here. I would wear a denim jacket over this in a heartbeat. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab it. Okay, or better yet, this baseball jacket's so cute too. Okay, so just for an example of how to style this, I've got denim jacket right here with some roses, right? Because there's roses on the bottom of this and it's a peachy pink color over this. This is all part of the same style. This does not count as another, another style, okay? Check that out. How cute is that, right? Super cute, super cute. Okay, so denim jackets, they hide all the sins and they keep you warm. The sins of the bread, which is what my arms are experiencing, including the heat. Okay, so this one is a, I'm guessing medium. Yup, it's a medium, because I had to peel myself out of it. I had to peel, this is very stretchy, by the way. Very stretchy. So this, if you want this, say sold Harvey, okay? All right, then the other thing, that I love to do is kind of mix styles. So something girly and flirty like this, right? Put this baseball jacket over it, right? And zip the bottom, like where the band is. Okay, this is the LuLaRoe baseball jackets, $55 each. Okay, so now this is acting as my belt, right? So if it's chilly, if I'm at the beach, if I'm riding the ferry, I just allow it to blouse like a bobber jacket. Okay, this is peach and mint, which matches perfectly. They're a true color right there when I'm close enough and not washed out, okay? Which goes perfectly with this medium. So that's why I chose this particular one. But this is a medium bomber jacket, baseball jacket, kind of satin, zips all the way up, has pockets, soft cuff, soft band. Very generous fit. Very generous fit. Okay, so that's all part of the wearing it as a dress, right? Now, here's where it gets interesting. Pull it back straight. Belt or not belt, that's up to you. Whatever makes you happy. Okay, but then you do all those same tricks I taught you when it was a skirt, right? So grab it here. Instead of all the way down here, you're gonna grab it right here at the hip, 
right? There's like minor detail there. Grab your rubber band, your elastic, whatever you want to call it. Okay, make yourself a little nub and bun again. Okay. So now you've got an asymmetrical or do the, grab the same amount of fabric and you tuck it into your belt, right? Or into your belt. Okay. So now you have that asymmetrical. How cute is that ladies? So cute. Again, toss the jacket over it. Don't toss the jacket over it. So many ways to style that, right? So this is actually way number 10. Well, the knot was 10, the tuck is 11, okay? And then 12 is, got a, oh, and there's also this one, right? Like, where, like wherever you place it, right? The whole idea was to, to place it according to, like make it high-low however you want to, right? Okay? And the same with the knot in the back, right? Like all, it depends on how short you want it to be, right? But all the same tricks I was showing you in the beginning with the skirt knots and fold ups and stuff work as a dress as well, okay? Just depends how short you wanna go. Now I'm gonna bring it back to the waist and I'm gonna show you a couple of larges and then I'm gonna show you the other, the next four. Okay, so these are super tricky and actually require me to turn it inside out. So we're gonna do that after I show the, uh, the mediums. Okay, so these are mediums, we're gonna go so fast. Okay, so this is kind of a cottony. It's not maxi, it's kind of a cotton feel. It's very pretty floral. So if you're true to size or you've, like you're wiggling around in your size room, right? So it's number 289. So informative, right? Like, did you know that there's this many ways? Okay, then there's this really pretty maxi fabric, lightweight, aqua background. You've got all these gorgeous colors that match the tanks. Again, in medium. Right, because I saw like this kind of color pink was out there in the tanks and the blues. Okay, 126 for that medium maxi fabric. Okay, this one is a dip. So let me show you real quick the dip. Maybe you can see it from there actually. Okay, do you see how the how it changes at the bottom there? Not truly see. There you go. And this goes really well with the Caribbean blue tanks that are out there. I only have them left in 3X myself in the Caribbean blue. And this would also look really good with that deep purple blue color that was out there for the tanks. Okay. Number 177 for this one. I think I only have that color blue left in 3X as well. Let me know if you're interested. I'll give you the number. 177. For that one that's a dipped hi amy man about halfway through the trick she'll have to catch the video later because it's so cute so here's a true floral with some cotton and it's got a mauve kind of darker background some gorgeous purples paints in that caribbean blue again which was look great with those tanks that are caribbean blue this is number 12 for that medium this is maxi fabric it is teal and coral and a bright one at that How's it going? 168, maxi fabric, true stretch. That's a medium. All right, this is also maxi fabric. This is medium, is navy, and it has blush pink, and it perfectly matches this. Do you see that? Isn't that pretty? So this is 374 for the medium blush tank, and number 269 for the medium blush navy, and I mean the blush and navy, maxi fabric, maxi. Okay, now I'm gonna show you four more tricks because we just finished medium. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, four more tricks. It's like I'm rewarding you and I'm rewarding myself for getting through it. Okay, so we're gonna put it on upside down. Yes, Linz, yes. Comment, like, save the video. Like there's a little savey button thingy so you can watch it later. Oh my gosh, so many good things. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm trying to remember right now. So I'm gonna put this on inside out no i'm not putting it on inside out i tricked myself i tricked myself my memory guys 23 ways to wear this showing you 23 ways to wear this and you've got to forgive my mind for forgetting where i was in the okay so like this like so find your side seams okay now that you have these you can halter it I don't know if this is long enough. We'll see. 
I might need to switch to a large. Yeah, I need to switch to a large. Okay, well, we'll skip this one. We'll do the, we'll do the, the twisty one instead. Okay. Okay. All right. So you want some give on your waist. You want some give right here, so you want it to be super tight there, so that you can pull up. Okay. Then you're twisting like a hair bun, right? Are you getting that side slit? Okay, so then you take this and you pull it in. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. All right, and then you take your belt wherever I put it. Okay, and when you twist it, you've created a togetherness that you can then complete, right? Make sense? Make sense? Okay, there we go. Okay, so then I'm making sure I'm belting over the knot and now I have that print. There's a reason this is a dipped maxi. It's so that you can see this print all the way down. So now I've created a panel look with this skirt, right? And so you just wanna kind of fidget with it under the belt. And there you go, right? But you still have freedom to walk because of this slit. Okay? Isn't that fabulous? I mean, come on. These dip maxis are awesome, but I mean, you wanna showcase the dip. And how many ways can you showcase that dip besides just wearing it all the way down there and as a dress, right? Okay, and then, okay. So then we're gonna go and we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna grab a large so it's a little bit longer. Okay, so this medium again is number 267 for this dipped, right? It would be so good. It's like a sarong, but like a little bit, a little bit more coverage for, so this, Amazing dipped one is number 267. Number 267. Okay, now I need to grab a large. Let me give crazy a try today. It's a crazy. I'll, I'll grab this one. This is maxi fabric, which makes it extra slippery, which is going to make it extra fun. <laughs> I got your I got your drift there, Lisa. Okay, so this is not the right size. How did I get an extra large? I need a large. I need a large. Apparently I need to order some more large maxis, ladies. You guys, I'm buying all my larges. Okay. We'll go with this blue sunshiny number, okay? This is a large. Yay, it's a large. Okay. So theoretically, yeah, this is long. Guys, this is long. It's long enough to do what I want to do. Yay. Okay. So I'm showing the larges next anyway, so that's only fair. Okay. But I'm keeping it at my hips, okay? And the reason I'm keeping it at my hips is because I'm going to utilize the length so the waistline is really low compared to most Lula stuff, and it is rather big fitting on me, so that's also a good reason to wear it right at the hip so that the tightest part is staying where you want it to stay, okay? Now, let's see if I can, huh, see if I can do this. Okay, so I'm supposed to grab and spiral. Why are you just hitting me? Fabric, behave. This is tricky. Just so you know, this is tricky. Am I supposed to be inside out for this? I'm supposed to be inside out for this. I just realized. Inside out, but on the right way. Inside out, but the right way. Hello. I'm like, why is this not working? That's why. So you start with it like this. I know I sound crazy. I know that sounds crazy, but I promise it'll work. Put it on inside out. I knew I missed a step. This one's like on the floor on me, right? So if you've got one that's just really big, but you love the print, this is how to still wear it, right? Okay, so then I tuck the I tuck the line up here and then like so, find your waistband and just tuck a tiny piece of it so it stays right side out in the back, okay? There, now my side seam and my side seam are right here, okay? All right, now we're gonna go halter style. Okay, now this is really cute. I prefer to rubber band these, so I will find one because these, when I tie these, I get my hair in it every time because I have such long hair. Okay, so we're gonna secure it first and then fix it. Okay, so I just like little tiny bunny ears tied it. So it's not even very tight. Do you guys see how loose that is? Okay, it's festival chic, okay? It's festival chic, okay, so. 
great over your tank, right? Or over your swimsuit. Very loose, very comfy, right? Very comfy. So here's number 13, Thir no, 14, 14, 14. Oh my goodness, okay. Now you take that waistband, we're gonna do 15 like that. And you could belt this, right? You could belt this super easy, get that cowl under control, right? If this cow bugs you, do this. Wow. Right, problem solved. And you've got this extra area down here from your maxi, right? So you can make it a tunic top. Yes, it's so awesome, Amy. I always say that a maxi is what you need in every swim bag, right? And I love layering it with a tank or a swimsuit because then you don't have to worry about your kid doing that thing where they move your shirt and flash the world for you. <sighs> I love these tanks. I love these tanks. Okay, so you've got the same look like this, like we call that like uh, 14A, okay? Now, now, pull it down. Right, so I, I sized up one. I sized up one from my maximum size. So if I'd, I'd lost some weight, right, and I kept the large, right, it is also wonderful for a nursing mama, Lindsay. Hello, Heather, wear your maxi like this. Okay, so now I've got this very forgiving, right, and I can also adjust the cowl by tying it slightly differently, right? But it also becomes more fitted in the middle, and a lot of us aren't comfortable with that, so I try not to focus on styles that are very fitted in the middle. So, this is not, like, guys, okay? So cute, right? Oh yeah, exactly, like, and it's so nice and breezy, it's like festival chic. You also have a mini dress. Any maxi you've out shrink, right? Because all of us are out shrinking things rather than outgrowing, right? That's our goal? Okay, so, if you tie it as small as you can at the top, you can stretch the band down to your knees and it's tighter at the knees, right? But it's not tight here and it's still chic and it's still pretty and you just make sure you roll that in, right? That's why we tucked it in the band at first is to keep it in, now it's still in, right? So this is just a maxi. So it's just a maxi. And this is way 15. Okay, now take a belt, right? Take a belt. Now you have not lost any of your extra fabric. It's not clinging still. But now you've drawn your waist in, you've drawn the eye in, okay? Styling the clothes you have is an amazing asset because then you can add layering pieces that work with these. So what if it's winter time but you really want this chic look? Add a denim jacket, add a Sarah. In the summertime, add a Joy, right? Like there's a million different ways to layer but it's harder to afford those layering pieces, maybe, I mean, for me, to those layer and justify it in the closet if you're not utilizing the stuff you do have to their maximum so that those layering pieces are so useful. Okay, so this is just a large maxi on a size 10 person, okay? That's it, I've just, I've just, I haven't gone up to like a 2X or something, okay? And then you have, that's how easy it is to take it off, okay? Easy access easier access okay now there's one more trick i'm supposed to show you i've never performed it successfully so ladies cross your fingers for me because i've seen it twice i think i have it down now we're about to find out this is meant to be done with leggings by the way <laughs> I've got like a rubber band in my mouth when I'm live that's just not smart okay so where my side seams go side seam one side seam two and you want this is this isn't a dress this think of it like a tunic right your butt's covered for leggings okay think of it like a tunic okay side seams tuck in in the back now go one handful past side seams okay then cross pull tight slide to the side seams like that okay now theoretically i've never done this i've never done this successfully so if i if it works guys we need like a round of applause because like all right twist twist so weird to twist in two opposite directions by the way okay so accordingly 
this is supposed to go, oops, oops first, like this. Okay, now, I did it guys, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, okay. So we reenact that for you before I tie it, okay. So I for, I've got it up a little bit higher on the waist and the back. I've got the skirt from just before the side seams and then cross. And then once you've crossed, you slide your hands just a little bit down to the side seams. Then you twist in a way that the fabric is at the forefront in both of them, okay? And then, very carefully, do not strangle yourself, that's usually what I end up doing. You make sure your ladies are covered, okay? Then you go behind your neck and you bunny ear the neck, just like you did for the halter, okay? So if you're a little bit more conservative on cleavage, cleavage, cleavage this is a great solution so you've got a little bit of like a twist to do just to make sure you're not showing any okay so for me i don't love my shoulders so this is not my choice i like deep v's right but if you love your shoulders but you don't love the cleavage effect for whatever reason imagine this with a pair of jeans shorts imagine this with a jean skirt imagine this with an azure or a cassie but this right here, you're getting no cleavage, right? It's very work professional. You could literally wear this with a pair of slacks and a jacket at work and take it off and go out, right? Super easy. In the back, just a nice low kind of, just make sure your extra fabric is cowling in so that you're not showing the liner. That's it. Guys, I did it. I did that one. That one's so hard. It's very tricky. Okay, so, so that was a large. This particular fun blue large with all this vinery is uh, bah, 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 bah. 254. 254 for this one. Okay, I've got to switch post its. Okay. We're going to go over here, switch post its. Okay. All right. Then we're going to go. I'm going to give a number to the other three larges because, man, I'm running out of larges, guys. You guys like larges. We have one here, maxi fabric, like the one I'm wearing, very pretty fall colors. Thank you, Amy. Very like navy-ish blue with sage and kind of ochre. That one's number 144. And then this one is also maxi fabric and it's bright and fun and perfect for summertime. And I love all those kind of hits of aqua and cream. And it's got the deep purple blue that you guys have in tanks, which we do have tanks in every size of black and white from small to 2X. So if you need those, just say sold medium black, etc., whichever is your case, or sold medium white. 233 for that large. These are both larges. Okay. I'm also wearing a large and it's number 254. This elegant is number 225 and it's maxi fabric and super stretchy super super stretchy and it is a large <coughs> I'm a big believer in every day is elegant okay last large maxi fabric look at these purples like you put the right bright color with this and it goes from fall to spring or summer right away okay 342 342 for that okay now it's gonna get interesting so Um, I need, okay, so hopefully this works because like I said, I sized up. So I'm pulling the band. We are inside out on our purpose, okay? So this is an amazing trick, okay? Here we go. We're gonna find my belt. Which belt should we use? Let's use the cream one, uh, but I want elastic. I don't know where my elastic belt is. Do I? Ah, yes I do, I found it. Found it, okay. Okay, so take this and you have band around the middle, right? You have one. If it's tight enough for you, great. But for me, this one is not. Okay, because I sized up so that I could show you the halter dress tricks, right? Which I could do with a medium, but it would be very short. So, okay. So I have a belt around the middle, it's elastic, so it's gonna be a little bit tighter, okay? So just take your skirt inside out. Remember it was inside out and then tuck it into the band, not the belt, into the band, right? Tuck it into the band. 
So the belt is now over both and securing both. Okay, now you're getting this super cute kind of tulipy bubble skirt. Now grab the back and do the same. Grab the back and do the same. Okay, and then grab the side. Now you're asking, you might ask me why like I'm grabbing these portions. Well, it's so I can get the gathering just right so that you get that kind of flowy, flirty, like bubble look of the skirt because bubble skirts are a thing, right? Okay, so now it's bubbling appropriately. It's kind of gathering and then I'm just gonna work my way back around and tuck it real quick. Now that I've got the points where, okay. So now you've got a shorter skirt, right? How cute is that? Okay, it's a little bit like bubble kind of. Now the alternative to tucking it into the band, because we always have alternative ways to do the same style, right? Is to take the same idea and go and just leave it inside out, but go like this, okay? Like this. All the way under the belt, so the belt is what's securing it, etc. right? Okay, so we covered that one. So that's way number 18. Okay. So here is a windproof short skirt. You know how Carly's, when the wind picks up, it picks up your skirt with it? Who needs that? Uh -uh. I don't need to flash my boss as I'm walking in front of the store, right? Nobody needs that in their life. Okay, so inside out and upside down. Okay, inside out and upside down like we did with the halter dress, right? Well, except for that was right side out, but like upside down. Make it like a mini, okay? About the same length as you would for shorts. This also makes it easier to sit down places like you would with a mini skirt, right? Okay, rub your belt and belt it around the middle. An elastic belt, the plainer the better because then you don't get a buckle bump. Okay, you don't want any fabric in because now you are gonna control how short your skirt is by how long your inner skirt is and how high your belt is, okay? So you've basically just made your maxi into a azure, completely under your control for length. So if you're a shorty and you're wearing a double extra small as a dress, this is a complete possibility, right, you know? But when that wind picks up, whoosh, Ain't nobody seeing nothing, ladies. Ain't nobody seeing nothing. So there's a windproof skirt right there built into your maxi. Did you know? Did you know that? Okay, so I'm gonna show you extra large real quick. Apparently I have a lot of extra larges. So we've got maxi fabric, gorgeous feathers, paisley, purple, 110. We have black tanks that match everything maxi fabric kind of fall colors and a tile format number 71 i can't read numbers backwards guys really bad at that 71 okay fall maxi fabric kind of abstract 405 number 405 we've got pink maxi fabric very very cute very cute with those peach tank tops right or a white i think i like a white one actually Check this out with the white one. Okay, so this is an extra large. This is a 2X white tank. Look how pretty those are, how feminine. And how easy is this tank to layer under all these maxi styles so that you can do all the things, right? And I know you can get them at Old Navy, but like you can't get this fabric. That's the thing, none of them feel like this. 416 for the pink maxi fabric. Okay, we talked about solids, about becoming a mermaid with the solids. The price of the maxis are 42, the tanks are 25. I have tanks in black and white in every size. Isn't this stunning? This is the lightest weight cotton and it stretches forever, forever, forever. I love it and it's so cute. This color is my favorite. I die if I wish it was my size. 249 and this looks so good over those printed swimsuits too. Very serious and very classic black, gray, and tan. This is maxi fabric, 275, two, oh, excuse me, 213, I can't read guys. 213, that's maxi fabric, extra large. This is more cotton fabric, it's very artistic. I think it would be very fun to match. There's so many good purples in here and greens. 
and that is purple plum lavender, four ninety five for that extra large. Two more, and I'm going to show you four more hacks. All right, pink maxi fabric with these. They look like drink umbrellas. Does anybody else want happy hour tonight? Because like these look like drink umbrellas. Hot hot pink with these lime drink umbrellas and black details. And again, look how cute this is with a black tank. Like everything goes good with this. Number twenty eight. These are like a great summer staple. Have them in your they dry out so fast. Have them in your uh, in your swim bag. You know, you don't need any other cover-up, okay? Number 381. Okay, now, now we're gonna do, oh. <coughs> these are a little, uh, let's see. These are gonna, I'm, try, I'm gonna try to do this with a medium because this, this large is really long. Really, really long. This, large was number 254 if you love this blue one and all of its fun colors and it looks really good with the peach and the black okay number 254 that's a large okay so i'm gonna go back to medium because mama needs to be able to stretch a little bit better without extra fabric okay so this is a totally new look the maxi okay we are gonna take it we're gonna kind of bunch it up a little bit here. We're gonna find the top first of all. Okay, so I'm doing this with a medium. It's what my size chart says I should be, okay? So I'm, I'm taking it like this. So this is the waistband. This is the body, right? The, the body of the skirt. Okay, and I'm gonna put it on like it's a coat. One arm and then the other. What? Crazy, right? Okay, watch out for tags. They won't kill you because you probably always have yours off, but they will kill me because I don't. There we go. I'm free, free from the tag. Okay, so what I do with the excess fabric here is I roll it like so. Roll it. There we go, okay. So these maxis are better than any maxi at Target or wherever else you go because we have the yoga band that does not break, right? that you can pull these shenanigans with. So I'm doing right now is I'm freeing the band, right? I'm freeing the band. I roll it in a little bit when I put it on so my neckline's a little stronger. Okay, so I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? So again with the tank, right? I need a bottom. I need a bottom. Oh, yeah. That's close enough to navy, right? I'm tired of watching myself in shorts. I'm putting on an azure doesn't really matter just putting on a skirt so that you can see imagine beyond my shorts okay okay so it's open and right now with just this cute tank and I do have a medium tank in that gorgeous blush pink color that's here the skirt okay look how cute that combo is okay the blush pink medium is number 374 by the way this is way number 20 this is way number 20 to wear your maxi skirt. Is this a vest? Just open, flowy, low back, rolled neck. That's it, I just put my arms through the waistband. I didn't do anything fancy to it. Look at that. How cute is that, right? And you control the openness level, but let's say you want more control, right? You want more control of the openness level? Okay, let's give you some. Let's go like this. Okay. This looks professional. You could wear this with a classic tee. You could wear this with a linné as the shirt. Now you're controlling how much you're emphasizing the bust by how closed your neckline is, right? So now my bust is minimized because I've closed the neckline quite a bit and kind of rolled it in. Now I can also roll it out a little bit and give it a little bit more flow and room, right? Or I can emphasize the bust line by letting it be more open and then bringing it in in the center by just like this, okay? Look at this, when you bring in the center and leave the outer edges out, you create an hourglass appearance even if you don't have one. Even if you don't have one, right Amy? So look at the appearance, right? That you're getting out of this. There's the back. Here's the lower band, which I roll in just a little bit to make sure it's not showing. And it's kind of nice and loose here, so there's no back fat showing on my part. Okay, and then the neck is rolled in, so the fabric's showing out. 
and it's not super tight but again I'm wearing a medium not an extra small or an extra extra small I'm not wearing the smallest size that I can wear because what happens is that restricts your arms and neck if you're wearing the smallest size it's all about the breadth of your shoulders and the softness of the stretch of the skirt okay so you might say well what else can you do Carrie well let's say you spilled coffee on your shirt but your vest is safe or let's say you spilled coffee on your shirt and you have a maxi in your bag because you're genius like I am okay so you take your maxi that you just put on like a vest and now you're gonna cross it over and cross it over and now you're gonna belt it back this one needs the belt right so there's not all the styles needed the belt it was just an accessory this one needs the belt okay and I again I'll put a link in this for the belt okay so you control how much V how much cleavage you're showing right so this is pretty conservative you're not really showing any here but by how you adjust it how you adjust see and look how cute that bottom is too how you adjust your inner tuck shows how much cleavage or how much shirt you show look at that ladies look at that okay 21 21 okay but I'm not done but first I'm going to show you a couple of 2x's because I've only got a couple okay you got peacock feathers in a kind of cotton maxi in 2x and those are cream peacock feathers okay this is number 293 293 for that 2x okay this is also a cotton feel and this is like a gorgeous floral, bright and happy. Looks amazing, by the way. This is a 2X. Can I just show you something, ladies? This is Caribbean blue, or Carl blue is what my friend. Look how amazing that color is with this, right? So pretty. This 3X tank in Caribbean blue is number 42. Okay, just, just saying. That's amazing. So this is a 2X, and it's number... 58 and it's not that you can't do this trick with any of these that aren't maxi fabric it's all about where your size is on those items this is stretchier it's still not maxi fabric it's not slick but it is stretchier strawberries ladies strawberries oh how fun is this don't you love this this is 2x i know i do choose my favorite color blue it's my favorite color blue okay this is number 253 Okay. And this one is like that lipstick pink that came in the tanks, okay? This is that lipstick kind of pink red color that came in the tanks, number 253. Okay, and then this one finally is this gorgeous kind of medallions, like flirtily kind of things. Look at that print, you guys. This looks amazing, amazing with magenta, with royal blue, with black, with white. Okay, this is a 2x and i do have white 2x tanks and if you're sizing up sizing your maxi up a little bit bit 425 for that one okay so how about the last of the hacks okay so if it's full length on you if it's bigger maxi you can actually make it a mini dress okay like dancing out mini dress like put a cassie under it ladies if you're if it's not long long on you but that same wrap right it's now a mini dress put that belt on and you're wearing a mini dress right okay maybe you can pull it off i can't but i know that it is a thing you can do with maxi okay now we're gonna do oh so you see that this is the band, the neck band is the rolled in. Okay, here's the yoga band right there. And I rolled it in, okay? I've got one arm in, well, one arm in and one arm out, okay? All right, now, how freaking cute is this? Okay, so pretty, right? Wear Cassie under it. You don't need a top under it. You wear it just like this. You look really fancy and pretty, but 
Then put your arm up, put your belt under, belt around. Okay. Now, this with this particular look, if you're not sized up, you need something under it, like a Cassie that coordinates, or an Azure, like I'm wearing. Okay? Now, you associate where you want your crossover to be, right? So you tuck this way, and then you take, find your hand again, don't get lost in there. Okay? And then you take this piece, and you cross back over that way. Okay, stretch. There you go. Okay? Now we're overlapping. Okay? The more you pull down through this, the tighter the fit on the arm will be, the less movement you will have, okay? But you can control how much wrap and how long your dress is by that right there. Now, I love it just like this with like a little peak of Cassie underneath or an Azure. Okay? Look how cute that is, guys. And it's not super form fitting, but it gives you the hourglass look with plenty of looseness, right? Okay, so <laughs> this is number 22. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go and we're gonna, okay, uh, do shoulder one, bend and fold, belt. I'm gonna do, right? So you can go just like this, super cute, poncho, nursing mamas, solution made right here, okay? Okay? And these aren't even all the maxi hacks. I actually know a couple more. I actually do know a couple more, okay? Now, you wrap, find your arms, find your arms, pull them up a little bit, belt around the middle, belt around the middle, now take these, okay, wrap around a little bit. So I still recommend do wearing an undershirt for this particular style. Take your extra fabric right here and just pull it up till it's resting on your shoulder inside, okay? And now the same here. And yes, this is another full coverage top out of your maxi, okay? All right, full coverage up to you, of course, but I mean, you can always let things slide. I'm not one to do that. So what I do is I just tuck the front there and I take this excess here and I pull it over the back, secure it with the belt. The same over here, tuck there. Hi, Patricia. We're just about done with the maxi hacks. We're at, this is 23 actually right here. 23, flowy, loose, airy, cowl neck, right? Full coverage, full coverage out of your maxi. As a top that's like a little bit more poncho, flowy, not so fitted, right? I'm trying to focus a variety of fits in these hacks so that there's something here for everybody. Now, there's one more, okay? I'm gonna show you the three X and show you the last ones because I only have three, three, three X groups, okay? So number one, maxi fabric, gorgeous detail, would look so cute with the white tanks or the black tanks. There's magenta, there's green. This one's number, this one's number 448. Then there's this one, also maxi fabric, 3X, and it's got lots of black in it as well, so this would go great with the black tanks. And I have them in every size from small to 2X. 273 is that one. And this is the final 3X, this is a cotton, it is very pretty and tropical. I am in love with it. Like fully in love with it. What are you and why are you here? Okay. All right. So this one is number, 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 number 109. All right. Let me show you the last one slash two maxi hacks. Okay. So number 109, put this away. Now for this one, I need to change maxis. And you might wonder why. Well, I actually have to have a solid one for this next hack to work. So solid maxis are way more desirable than you might realize. Okay, so this one was number, this is a medium, and it was number 269, the blush, and I have the medium blush tank to match it, okay? If you want both, if you want either, this is navy and blush, 269. Okay, so I'm gonna grab 
a solid maxi, okay? Extra small, I'm gonna grab aqua, okay? Which is gonna wash out like crazy. This extra small cotton maxi in aqua is number 187 if you want it. Okay, so, did you know all you need for a fancy night out at your husband's formal dinner at work in the maxis? I don't know, I think so. I've never personally seen it, but I've heard of it. It's like a unicorn, right? I've never personally seen it, but I believe, I believe. Okay, so imagine I'm not wearing the blank black tank because I'm not taking it off, because I'm not straight up nuts, okay? This is cotton, so it's a little bit stiffer, but this is the size I usually wear, okay? I'm gonna take this extra small, I'm gonna put it on over my head so I don't end up messing up my tank, right? And again, I have the black and white tanks in every size from small to 2X, and I've got colors in 3X and uh, large and small, I believe, maybe 2X, okay. So, here we go. So now I've got Maxi on as a dress. She's very pretty, cotton is clingier, right? Which is why I always recommend sizing up for cotton for all the reasons, right? All the reasons. But this is a cotton, extra small. I'm a size 12, 36 double D, 36 D, excuse me, 36 D. No doubles. Good Lord. I don't need more. All right. So now I'm grabbing the joy that I need because I forgot to grab it, of course. Now I could do this with a colored joy, but first I'm going to show it to you with a black joy. Okay, here we go. See this? This right here. I am going to, it's a small stretchy lace joy. This is an extra small aqua cotton maxi. Okay, first of all, I'm putting the joy on backwards. Okay, actually it looks really good with a black tank. Guys, you should get all these pieces together. I'm wearing a small black tank. I have more of them. I have a small black joy lacy, stretchy, and I've got an aqua, extra small, uh, maxi on. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my belt, and I will post the link to these belts that I've been showing in different ones so that you can buy them for yourselves, because I don't sell them, so what do I care? Okay. So you find your edges, find your hems, okay. Choose your crossover point. Now, you, of course, can do this tankless, but it's super cute with the tank. Oh wait, I'm putting the belt on backwards, guys. You also can choose how much you want it to spread here, right? I like it spread quite far, because I think it's cute. So just cross it over in the back. You can always adjust it, but it's good to have it pretty flat when you do the belt part. Okay. You can also adjust your height of your skirt. So I don't love that it's peeking out, so watch this. This is my trick when I'm adjusting the length. I just fold over the band, pull it up higher, fold over the band, okay? There you go, I just fold it over the band because I don't want it poking out from the bottom. It's all about the length of the skirt, right? I didn't know that before I put it on. Okay, now it's the same length as a joy, right? Okay, watch your tag. I know mine's sticking out, but watch your tag when you're wearing it to a fancy thing, right? So cross over like I showed you before with the back of the joy. Take your wrap belt. Right, Patricia, isn't it darling? Okay, now I used the lace wrap belt because it felt like it was appropriate for a lace joy, right? Because you don't want to contrast when the lace is the star of the show. So join them, right? Now, if this is too high for you, this is the point you fix that. You pull down on the lace to adjust your neckline, okay? That's it. Then you pull it to the side a little bit. Tell me you can't wear this out to a nice dinner. Tell me that this isn't stunning enough that you could wear to a, a work dinner, right? Isn't this gorgeous? The right jewelry, do your hair up, grab a cute clutch, $3 belt, a black jewel you might already have, and a solid maxi that you can wear year-round and style 22 other ways. 22 other ways, right? It's, it's amazing. This is one of my favorites. I found it on Pinterest three years ago. 
and I'm finally small enough to have a black joy in stock that I can do the look. Okay? Look at that. Look at that. So this is 23 plus, because I did variations, didn't I, ladies? I did all kinds of variations, of ways to hack your maxis. And if you outgrow a maxi, there's no such thing as outgrowing a maxi, as you saw with these ones here. The variety of the sizes allowed me to be able to show you dresses and things. So there's no reason to donate your outgrown maxis. You can still use them as these things. And maybe, maybe you went from 2X down to small like I did. Maybe you can donate the 2Xs, okay? But trust me, until you kill them, those maxis have endless capabilities, endless. So feel free to snag any of these here on the replay. They're all stunning. And you need to save this video because these hacks all in one place, lifesaver, lifesaver. So thanks for watching, ladies, and I hope that you try some of them. Now I'm going to go post that link for you so that you can shop these kick butt belts too. Right? I love, love, love this joy. It is so pretty. All right, I'll see you later, and I'm going to post that link at the bottom of this. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, I love it, guys. I love it. Bye.